What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the Cryer family, what are y'all waiting on? All you have to do to subscribe to the channel is turn that bell on. But turn the bell on only means you are subscribed. In order to get notifications, every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on the bell with the vibrating symbol. <laughs> <laughs> that way every time i upload a video on the crier family you you and you of course will get the notification also guys we are doing a crier family giveaway every week on the crier family all you have to do to be subscribed to the channel is be subs i mean to <laughs> enter the giveaway is be subscribed to the channel uh, excuse me why do i do that all the time smash that like button and leave a positive comment giveaways cost you absolutely nothing to get to enter people are still asking right now mr crier how do you enter the giveaway it's simple it's simple it's simple all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just smash that like button to be subscribed and leave a comment it is just that simple that simple guys so man man y'all see i'm sitting in my truck man i had to pull over i had to literally pull over because I seen something today that I wasn't ready to see. I mean, I've been ready to see it for a long time. I just wasn't expecting to see. I clicked on my YouTube this morning or a little while ago and I seen four, zero, 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 zero. Zero was all the way across the board, guys. We finally hit 400,000 subscribers on the Crier family. Thank you guys so so freaking much, man. I mean, I, I I mean, I I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I still cannot believe it. I still remember people telling me at my old job, "You will never make it. You will never make it. You would never ever ever make it. You an older man. You would, I think I was like, I've been doing YouTube for let's see November." of 2016 November of this year will be five years I've been doing YouTube so I have literally almost hit a hundred thousand subscribers a year since I've been doing it but it's more like 70,000 a year if you kind of round it off to make it like well actually no 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 Th that is about right I've been in the game for four years and I'm at 400,000 subscribers. So it's almost like I hit 400,000 a year, even though we know that that's not how it went, but that's how it seems. So basically, man, you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. But I know you guys seen that title and probably wondering, okay, but you got the Prince family in a title. What's that all about? I'm finna tell you guys exactly what that's about as soon as I turn this air up. Man, listen, the Prince family, I want to give a huge shout out to them. I want to say thank you to both Damon and Bianca for making all of this possible, man. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I know you guys like, you know, y'all see the drama, y'all see the bull, you know, stuff that's going on on social media with me not seeing my kids and, you know, a lot of hurtful stuff has been said, not only been said, but has been done on YouTube, man. You know, and the thing is, you don't really need drama to grow your channel. You don't need a whole bunch of BS going on on your channel just to grow your channel. You can grow your channel just doing regular stuff, man. And, um, you know, I just want to thank them. My son always told me, Damon has, has, has always told me, he said, Dad, you can do it, man. All you got to do is just stay focused, Dad. You know, try to put out a lot of content, you know, um... And I used to, you know, think to myself like, well, I'm putting videos out, son, but my channel still isn't growing. He's like, dad, you got to just keep going. You know, I can't just give it all to you. You know, I can teach you and show you the things, but I'm not going to just hand it to you. You know, every time I call I'm like, hey, how do you do this? You know, it's like, I'm going to help you out, but I'm not going to hand everything to you. There's some things that you have to go do on your own as a man. And if you want to become a content creator and a real content creator, a real content creator you have to really want want it you know you have to really really want it man you have to really just like upload because if you don't upload videos you know like 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 he used to tell me dad i can give you a shout out 
this was years ago, man. I said, Dad, I can give you a shout out. He said, but what happens if 30, 40,000 subscribers run over to your channel? And I was like, well, I got a lot of subscribers. He said, but if you don't put out any content, those subscribers is not gonna stick around just because you're the Prince family dad. They're not gonna stick around just for that. And like, when I started my channel, you know, it wasn't even the Prince family back then, it was still DMB Nation. And I remember one of the first pranks that they did on me on their channel, it was a lottery ticket prank. It was a scratch off lottery ticket prank. And I fell for the okie dokie. They got me good, I'm not gonna lie, they got me. But that was like my first time like involved in like a real prank on such a large scale and it made me feel really good but then i was really scared because you know like i didn't like i didn't really know a lot about the comments back then and how it all worked and stuff until i started really really getting serious about it and then i realized like you know what he said was right like it's still right to this day people ask for shout outs and there's nothing wrong with that but guys just know that when you do get a shout out from somebody especially a huge content creator people are going to go over there and watch your video let me say this for instance i know a guy right now he has 7500 subscribers and that is really nice 7500 subscribers he only been in the game for like a year so 7500 subscribers is amazing and he was like yo when i gave him a shout out i don't i don't i don't want to say his name but when i gave him a shout out and I don't want to say his name, not because I don't want to give him no clout. It's just that he doesn't want me to say his name. He, you know, he wanted me to mention the story, but didn't really care for me to say his name. When I first gave him a shout out on his channel, he had like 300 subscribers, okay? And I gave him a shout out and his channel went from 300 subscribers to like 5,800. Now he's grown his channel over 7,500 subscribers, which is a lot of you know subscribers a lot of people to be on this channel so what happens I, I was explaining to him i said listen you know give you a shout out and you're gonna gain some subscribers off of it i said we can do a video together which we did a long long time ago his video got like 150,000 views on this video but he was confused like well why am i only at 7,500 subscribers and i got a video with a hundred and something thousand plus views on it i said it's because the people were there for the video and they enjoyed the content, but you really didn't have anything over there for them except that video that they wanted to see because I was in the video and I was in the title of the video. I said, the way that it works is you have to have content up there. Nobody wants to go to a channel and there's only one video there. You know, um, some people are lucky like that where they'll get like a viral video to go viral. They can drop like one video and that video be so crazy, they would go from zero subscribers to like 10 million subscribers. This is no joke, guys. Well, that was like kind of like too far out there. They can go from zero subscribers to like 100, 200,000 subscribers like immediately because of something viral that they did. But now that they finally did that viral video, they have to continue keeping it going. They have to continue keeping it going. They gotta continue dropping videos. Like you got the people there, but if you don't, give them content or entertainment they're gonna leave they're gonna they may stay subscribed but they're not gonna take you serious they're not gonna take you serious so it's like damien and bianca they have motivated me so much to where now i was able to grow my channel um you know over the years man um i started off doing like fishing videos i started doing cooking videos um you know i started doing like pranks and challenges and stuff like that and I remember people, even as my channel was growing slowly over the years, I've had people like come in my comments and be like, dude, you boring, you're boring. You wanna be like your son, you're boring. You just the old dude, you just the clout chaser. You just wanna be, you just the wanna be. But in my opinion, guys, I had to find out the hard way that regardless of what people say about you in the comment section, man, or on your videos calling you boring, your videos boring, you old, you have to realize one thing. All those comments, good or bad, are called engagements. All those engagements, even though some of the comments are bad, they're still an engagement. That's a plus for you because it means that somebody hated you that much. They hated your video that much and they thought that you was that boring that they actually took their time out while they was watching the video and typed a whole paragraph describing how much they hate you. You know, your haters is your biggest motivators, man. That's all I'm saying. Your haters is your biggest motivator. You know, 
And today, when I woke up and seen that I had crossed over to 400K because yesterday I was at 397,000 subscribers. So I was 3,000 away from 400K. So I was not expecting when I woke up to have reached 400K and actually I've exceeded 400K. So it's like, I didn't really have a speech prepared, but I knew that when I hit 400K, that I wanted to do like a motivational speech, but I wasn't prepared to hit that goal today. So right now, man, I'm just kind of like soaking it all in right now. Um, it's like so much has changed. And I feel like one of the biggest changes that I made was I took a chance, you know, I took a chance. I walked away from my job that I was at for like 15 plus years. You know, I love what I did out there in Indiana, you know, and I just feel like, you know, when I made that move to come out here and I was given the opportunity, you, gotta, you guys got to remember, if, if, you, if you go back, I don't know if it's a way that, that you can retract the history, but if you go back uh, July 28th of this year, that's what this is May, June, July. So in about two and a half months, I've been out here for two years straight now. And when I moved out to Texas, when I moved out to Texas, when I got in that uh, uh, Penske truck, and I loaded that Penske truck up with all my furniture from my apartment and I left my job. I loaded that blue Mustang on the back of that dolly on the back of that Penske truck and I drove to Houston. When I left Indiana, I had 42,000 subscribers when I left there. You know, and I just feel like, you know, even though that's my hometown, I feel like that I wasn't getting enough support. And a lot of times, like you got like a lot of rappers, a lot of singers that's coming up in the game and they real real talented people like where i'm from and where i grew up at there is so much talent out there but people won't go anywhere because they're not going to support you because they're trying to do the same thing that you're trying to do and they're not getting the support that they need to push them to that next level you know um so i feel like you know i stepped out on faith you know damon told me he was like dad come out here man you know we need you we want you to be out here you know and uh you know we're gonna make sure that you're good, you know? And it's like, I, I was I was scared at first. I was scared to take that chance because it's like, you know, I don't wanna walk away from this job that I built over all these years, knowing that I was in prison for a lot of years. And, you know, I had so many ups and downs, so many breakups and just so much bad luck over the years. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna walk away from a job that's paying me 27, 28 bucks an hour. You know, I'm like a supervisor in my department. You know, I got my own crib, things is going good. It's like, do I wanna really just give this up to pursue this? And you know what, man? You know what? At first, I told him no. At first, I told my son, the Prince family, Damon and Bianca, I said, no, I'm not doing that. I thought about it, but I'm not doing it. So I remember a whole year went by. And this is how Damon is. Damon don't forget nothing, nothing. He's very thorough. A year went by, I'll never forget. I was at work one day. Damon texted me, he's like, Dad, is you on your lunch break? I was like, yeah. Because you know, when we get on the phone, man, we don't have normal conversations like five or 10 minutes. We 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 talk for hours. So he texted me one day, he said, Dad, are, are, are you on your lunch break? I was like, yep, I'm, give me about five minutes. So I went into like the little, in my little office area. Um, because we like, when we talk, I don't really talk to him around people. We kind of keep our conversations private. Everything is not for everybody's ears. So basically, when I went in the office and, you know, we had called each other or whatever, I think I had called him. And man, I was talking and I could like hear the sarcasm in his voice a little bit. He was like, so how work going today, dad? I was like, work is going okay. And it's the weird thing. The question that he asked me was the same question he asked me the following year on that same exact date. That's why I'm like, dude, they would be typing stuff in like dates that he, he made a call and, and asked a certain question. I'll never forget. He said, Dad, I want to ask you something. I said, so what's up, son? He said, Dad, tell me. Remember what I asked you last year about coming out here to Houston? I was like, well, of course I remember it. How can I forget something like that? He said, well, let me ask you something. What's changed in your life now? Uh, no, 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 no. He said, he said, when I made you that offer last year to come out here to Houston, he said, what's changed in your life since then to the current present day today? And when he asked me that question, I was like, oh shit, this dude being sarcastic. That was my first thought. I said, my son is being sarcastic. He's purposely being sarcastic. Like he must be on one today. 
But then I sat back and thought about it for a minute. I was like, wait a minute. Since you asked me that question last year about moving out here to H-Town, what's changed now? What makes this year so different than last year? Was my financial situation any different? Had I started doing any better for myself? And once I thought about the question he asked me, you know, I didn't think about it too tough until after I got off the phone. But when I got off the phone and I went back to my workstation after my break was over, I got to thinking to myself like, it was like reality slapped me right in the face. I said, damn, I feel like I'm working my butt off for free. I feel like I'm working my butt off for Uncle Sam. I feel like, dang, nothing's really changed with me, man. It's like, I wake up every single day, you know, sleeping 10, 12 hours a day because I work 10, 12 hours a day. So I slept as much as I worked. And it was like, when I did get one day off a week, it's like, all I really wanted to do was just sleep. But I knew I had to go get Darian, you know, to be able to spend time with him on the weekends. So it was a hard decision for me to make, man. But it's like, I let my young son, my young son convince me to move out here, you know, and he said, dad, you can do it. You know, and that's pretty big because I should be the one convincing my kids, hey, you can do it. So he believed in me, the Prince family as a whole, as a family, they believed in me to give me the opportunity. And I just want to say thank you guys for that, man. You know, I know without this opportunity that they provided for me, I would still be in Indiana working right now, which there's nothing wrong with working. There's nothing wrong with working a regular job. There's nothing wrong with getting up every day, going to work, making an honest dollar. This was able to put me in a position where not only did I have to not put my life at risk anymore by going into a dangerous steel mill with overhead cranes going over my head with thousands of pounds of steel waiting to fall out the ceiling at any given moment if something breaks. And it put me in a position where I'm able to do my own thing, work for my own self and become my own boss. And now that I'm in this position I'm in, I'm able to actually help other content creators grow. You guys don't see it on camera because sometimes there's no need to, for me to come on here and boast about this person that I'm helping out or that person. There's no need to. Your blessings don't come like that. It's what you do in the dark. And that's what the man upstairs see, what you do in the dark. So now it puts me in a position where I'm able to help other content creators out that's on a come up. You guys would not believe how many people I'm subscribed to. You guys would not believe how many people I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to people with 25 subscribers literally I, i'm subscribed to everybody sometime i shock some of those people because i go in the comments and i'll be like hey great video and they'd be like oh my god is this for real for real and they see the blue check mark and say wow this is really him i watch a lot of youtube um videos um i do enjoy doing youtube and now that i'm a content creator myself i can all i can honestly say i you know i feel like that that i accomplished a huge goal you know, I do, but I don't feel like I accomplished this goal by myself. You guys out there right now that's watching this very, very video as we speak is the reason why, because y'all supported me. Y'all believed in me. Y'all believe in me. You guys have been with me for so long and seen all of the mistakes that I made both on and off this platform. Y'all have seen me do just the most craziest stuff. And y'all still stuck around and still supported the Cryer family, supported the Prince family, you know, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that, man. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. You guys have, I mean, Jesus, y'all saw me so much love and support and y'all pushed me to the point to where I have no choice but to do two iPhone giveaways the month of June. Next month, I'm giving away two spanking two brand spanking new iphone 12s i don't know if it's gonna be the max pro or the what but like the difference is like the one i got when i bought this iphone it only they had this is the 12 uh but this one didn't have three cameras on it but i wanted it because it's blue and you guys know my favorite color blue they had the one with the three cameras on it but it was like a like a beige color and i happen to like blue as you guys know so that's my appreciation right there man i'm gonna do two iphone giveaways the month of june all you have to do to enter the giveaway for the iphones is be subscribed to the crier family smash the like button and leave a positive comment man 
You guys know how much these iPhones cost. They not cheap. But see, I don't mind shelling out the money to do the iPhone giveaway because you have to give back to the people who spend so much time giving. People as the supporters who take the time out their day to watch our videos, to watch our content, to watch what we're doing, to keep their notifications on, and actually are smashing that like button, and who are always genuinely here to support you no matter what. I have so much support, man. I have been the most hated man on YouTube from being involved in, you know, you guys know what happened with my son's wedding years ago. Um, you guys know about the diss tracks that was made in front of my son's house. You guys know about the disrespect. You know, they say don't ever, ever bite the hand that feeds you. And, you know, I know that I have done some crazy stuff, man. But it seemed like through all of it, you guys supported me. Y'all believed in me. Y'all still stuck around. You know, I still took some bashing from a lot of people. And I still take bashing right to this day. But it's problems that I created on my own. The people who watch my videos didn't create my problems. I created my problems. Now, moving on, guys, so I, before I bring this to a uh, um, conclusion, I want to say this to each and every one of you guys who's watching this because a lot of you guys who actually watch YouTube, I happen to personally notice that a lot of you guys who's watching YouTube, a lot of you guys are starting to become YouTubers. You guys went from doing exactly what I did when I became a YouTuber. You guys started watching other people's videos and you said to yourself, wow, this is pretty funny. This is a great idea. And like me, I had a cell phone back and I had an Android. I was filming fishing videos off of a cell phone. I didn't really know how to work it, so I would have it like this. But when I posted a video to YouTube, it would look funny. So I didn't realize I had to turn the phone to the side to film you have some of the best quality on cell phones, but I noticed you got some of the best quality on iPhones, even the lowest iPhone. Excuse me. You can have the beautiful quality videos. All you have to do is make sure that you get the right lighting, the right angle. Guys, you can do it, man. If I can do it and I'm 50 years old, I've been doing this since I was 46. I am 50 years old. I will be 51 June 10th of this year. I will be 51 years old. I am probably, I'm not the oldest YouTuber in the game. I am one of the oldest, oldest YouTubers in the game. You know, if I can do it, you guys can do it. The Prince family, they gave me an opportunity, but they didn't hold my hand all the way through it. They didn't hold my hand all the way through it. They said, we're going to help you out. And this is what we're going to do. You know, um, I had a really, really great head start. You know, a lot of stuff I had to figure out on my own, guys. If you don't know something, ask somebody. If you don't know how to edit, ask somebody. If you don't know how to do a chop, ask somebody. If you don't know how to add a, a, a beat in or some sounds with the video, ask somebody. And if nobody's willing to help you out to achieve those little easy, simple things that you're asking for, all you have to do is one thing. YouTube is the biggest search engine on the planet, guys. Google! YouTube is the biggest search engine on the planet. I'm gonna give you guys an example. I bought this truck a few months ago, okay? I had a problem with it uh, recently when I turned my ignition off and got out my truck, the fan would continue running outside. The uh, radiator fan would continue running, running and running and running and running and running. I have a warranty on the truck. Bumper to bumper, it's all covered. But I couldn't figure out why this fan kept running and running and running and running. I would go in the house and come back out 40, well, maybe 30 minutes later. The fan is still running and running and running and running. Till one day I came outside and I started the truck up and it clicked nothing. I'm like, I just bought this truck. The paper tags was literally still on the truck. So I went back in the house and I sat down for a minute. And I started thinking to myself, do I want to put this truck in the shop and use my warranty or do I want to figure the problem out myself? So you know what I did? I went on YouTube. I typed in radiator fan motor running while truck is off F-150 and boom, so many videos popped up right there. Let's just say within 10 minutes after watching one of the tutorials on how to 
my truck is fixed. It took less than 10 minutes. It was a simple problem. It was a fuse up under my hood, the radiator fan fuse. I just pulled it out and just put a brand new fuse in. It's been over a month now and I haven't had a problem. So basically what I'm saying is if you don't know something and somebody is not willing to go out their way to help you with the simplest things, go to YouTube and type in how to edit a video, how to download a royalty few, royalty free music on YouTube, how to chop a video on YouTube. Everything is right there, guys, for you guys. It took me a while to catch on to like a lot of stuff because I wasn't really computer savvy back then when I started doing YouTube. But guys, come to find out, no, I'm not saying that it's easy. It's not really easy to start YouTube, but you have all the tools right there at your fingertips. And you guys want to know what the amazing thing is, man. As long as that you have an iPhone or a cell phone, you don't have to spend no money to start a YouTube channel. It's free. It's free. They don't even charge you to start a YouTube channel. You just simply download the app, create you an account, sign in your email and stuff like that. And you can just, you know, like read the rules and the guidelines and you just start uploading videos, man. You just start uploading videos because I used to always hear my son say, Dad, it's enough out here for everybody. I remember I used to ask my son for money all the time. You know, it's no secret. But when I lived in Indiana, I used to, I used to ask my son for money. I used to be like, Damon, man. Man, you know, you know the stop story. Man, you know, I got garnished this week. I, you know, they garnished my check this week, man. You know, and I got a disconnect notice coming from my light bill, man. Can you please help me out? You know, instead of him saying, Dad, damn, I just bought you a car, bro. You know, this and that. You know, I just flew you down for a few. No, he was like, Dad, listen, I'm, I'm going to help you out, man. And he would do it. But I knew after a while, I couldn't keep doing that. Because it's like, you know, I'm putting in their mind as my kids. Like, damn. What if I need my dad one day financially? And he asked me for money. So they helped me find a way out to pull me out of that position like that so I can make my own money. And I'm not ashamed to say it, man, because, you know, I'm not going to always have breath in my body. I'm not going to always be able to talk. I'm not going to always be able to bring you guys a speech like this that's going to motivate you and encourage you and make you want to get out there and grind on your own, man. So, I, you know, that's why I said I'm not ashamed of telling you guys what I'm telling you, I had to borrow money before, you know, I had to do a lot of that stuff, man. I had to go stay with my kids even once when I first moved out here because of a situation happened where I lost it all. You know, all I'm saying is this, man, if I can do it and I'm an older man, you can do it. A lot of you guys is fresh out of school. You know, y'all know all about the computers, man. You know, like I said, it's not as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of work, but you have all the tools right there in your hand, man, right at the tip of your fingertips. We got our phones in our hands 24 hours a day. I don't know about you guys. I even take mine to the restroom with me sometime. It does have a little odor. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, sort of. But, man, I hope this video right here, man, was really, really, really able to motivate somebody, man. You know... Again, I didn't have a speech prepared for the day because I didn't think I was going to hit 400,000 today. But by the grace of God, I hit it, man. So I want to just say a huge thank you to all of you guys out there who support the Cryer family over and over and over and over. And a huge thank you to the Prince family, Damon and Bianca, for making all this possible for me, man. Like I said, I'm just really, really lost for words. Um... But yeah, oh guys, before I go, I wanna uh, do the Cryer Family T-shirt giveaway. The Cryer Family T-shirt giveaway today goes to Christina Christensen. Christina Christensen, you are today's T-shirt winner of the Cryer Family. All you have to do is email me at black underscore dhc2 at yahoo.com. Tom, your size, the color you want, and the color of letters that you want on the shirt, Christina. Also, I'm gonna need you to send me your address or your P.O. box number so I can send your shirt out to you as soon as possible. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. I love each and every one of you guys. 400K, gang, gang, gang. Thank you guys so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.